Okay, here's a quick overview diagram of the sand battery that I built. It's in the previous videos. I've got a 20 gallon galvanized metal trash can for the outer can. And then I've got a 10 gallon galvanized So I've got the 10 gallon on the inside with the coil that I'll I have in another video. It's a 220 coil. Three bricks underneath to give it an air flow. And uh, I have two inch pipes coming. Aluminum, they're actually uh, aluminum conduit, electric conduit. It's just something I had around. So I have two inch coming. I have two inch aluminum conduit pipe for the vent pipes. Hot air at the top going out. Cold air at the bottom with a fan coming in. And that's basically, oh, and I have this in, inner can is completely full of sand. And that's where the all the heat is being generated. When you wire this up, it doesn't matter if you have the positive or negative. It can be either way, you know, at either end. It makes no difference. It's time to start keeping track. Okay, I got a little calendar going here. Let's see if I can get this correct. This light's giving me some glare. So, the first day, Friday, January 6th, we achieved 560 degrees in the sand. The vent was putting out 118 degrees. It was a clear day. The next morning I checked it, it was 140 degrees. And it was cloudy. I didn't get the data. I wasn't, wasn't really start uh, thinking to get a, a good uh, data going, so. It's a little shaky at first. January 8th, yesterday, I had to uh, work. So I I wasn't able to monitor the sand. But I did start the vent when I got home. And it was already dark. And it started out at 116 degrees. I left it running all night. This is the first time I've ever left it up running all night. That next morning, it was still at 94 degrees. That day, it was all cloudy. Today, January 9th. The sand only got up to 125 degrees. I turned on the fan again. I'm going to let it run all night. It started out at 85 degrees at about 4 o'clock this afternoon. Here we are right now. It's 5.35. Still 84, this is the temperature of the air coming out of the vent. Now one note I wanted to make was the first day, I had the sensor off in the corner of my little monitoring box. Now I have the sensor directly in front of the vent. So this 118 degrees on that really clear day was probably more like about 130. So last night, January 10th, The vent was putting out 78 degrees and then this morning it was down to 63 but as of right now it's putting out 113 because it's been mostly clear but now it's starting to get cloudy so it's going to shut us down now it's been going real good these are some details that i've been writing down from comments one gentleman said R50 insulation would be zero loss on the heat. Another one said we should try to match the resistance to the voltage. That's a good idea. I'm, I'll be working on that. Another guy said use an iron case. I know iron is good. Copper induction heating with a 48 volt system. I may not be able to accomplish that, but these are some of the comments. 30 degrees outside. It's covered with frost, but we've got a clear day. Just a micro, a little bit of 
trying to get the clouds there, but they'll be gone. So this could be a good test day. She's running fine. She's been running five days in a row. I think today is number six, huh? Yeah, today's day six. Let's see what we got inside. Now, yesterday was all cloudy. I ran the fan all night long. Last night it started out at 180 degrees. So let's see what we got right now. Okay, it's 30 degrees outside right now. January 11th, Wednesday morning. And the fan's been running all night long. We're setting at about, about 87 degrees, let's say. 87 degrees. It started out at 180. And uh, the vent is pumping out 63 degrees right now. With a 30 degree temperature outdoors. Day number six, running great. January 11th, Wednesday, 243. Look at this. 126 degrees coming out of that vent. And it's overcast. Just like I thought. It was probably 130 the other day when it was a totally clear day. 126 degrees. 136. 120 volt coil from a hot plate and the 220 coil that I showed in the previous videos. Working on two new models. 120 volt coil. The three gallon can. can. So these are portable models you can carry. That's the smaller unit. And then the larger one. Mr. Toasty with the two 40 volt coil. This one I'm going to work on an adapter up top with an oven. This is a portable unit also. You'll be able to carry it. It has, uh, let me see, six gallons of sand, six, approximately 60 pounds of sand. So this would be at least 70 pounds. For the handle. The other one is about 40 pounds. So I have two portable units I'm working on right now. <laughs> 